JLG Industries presents JLG Ecolift 50 and Ecolift 70 Access Lift Operator Safety Video. This video will introduce the five-step method recommended by JLG for the safe inspection, operation, and shutdown procedures necessary for all vertical mass lift product offered by JLG. By viewing this video, you are accepting responsibility for the safe and proper operation of your machine and for complying with all applicable laws and regulations covered for its proper use. You must not operate any machine until you have read and understood the manuals and have completed training under the supervision of an experienced and qualified operator. This video is intended to serve as a supplement to your operation and safety manual, safety handbook, and ANSI manuals of responsibilities located in the manual storage holder on the mast. These documents must be kept with the machine and, if not available, must be obtained by contacting your JLG distributor or by going online at www.jlg.com. If you require further clarification on the safe operation of your machine, contact JLG Product Safety and Reliability at 1877-JLG-SAFE. The Ecolift 50 and Ecolift 70 are classified as manually propelled push-around units. The proper way to push the unit is by grabbing the guardrails by the platform gate. The operator can move the unit on a firm level surface to the worksite. Do not move the unit by grabbing the guardrail by the mast. The Ecolift 70 weighs 672 pounds or 305 kilograms Never attempt to push the machine on grades exceeding 5 degrees in slope and secure help whenever necessary to accomplish this machine movement safely. Always use a forklift or other conveyance to move the machine if the slope is over 5 degrees. Refer to the operation and safety manual for more information on moving the machine with a forklift. Step 1 of the 5 step method. Worksite Hazard Assessment You must identify any potential hazards before operating. Looking around 360 degrees, use the ICE 100 acronym to complete your Worksite Hazard Assessment. Identify any hazard. Check the worksite for overhead or ground hazards. Walk the site in the area before any operation. Communicate the hazard to anyone in the area or any ground personnel to make sure everyone is aware of the hazard. Eliminate the hazard by removing it or correcting the hazard. 100% avoidance. If hazard cannot be eliminated, avoid the hazard 100%. Keep in mind that your machine is not insulated and does not provide protection from contact or proximity to electrical current. Maintain a safe distance of at least 3 meters or 10 feet between any part of the machine, its occupants or their tools, and equipment from electrical lines, apparatus, or any energized parts carrying up to 50,000 volts exposed or insulated. One foot additional clearance is required for every additional 30,000 volts or less. Allow for the machine movement and electrical line swaying. This requirement shall apply except where employer, government, or governmental regulations are more stringent. After assessing the worksite for possible hazards, you are now ready for step two. Step two of the five step method involves conducting a proper walk around inspection prior to using your JLG Equal F50 and 70 access lifts. You must conduct a walk around inspection to ensure there are no visible damage, loose, or missing parts, or leakage. It is your responsibility to inspect the JLG Ecolift you will be using before operation of the machine. JLG recommends that you perform this inspection at each operator change. Ensure the operation and safety manual is in the manual storage holder. It contains a complete inspection procedure that you must follow. Complete inspection procedures as outlined in the operation and safety manual must be complied with. Once an operator becomes familiar with the pre-start inspection and function check procedures, they can be completed more efficiently. On each component being checked, make sure there are no loose or missing parts or visible damage. Pre-start inspections of JLG Ecolift 50 and Ecolift 70 access lift include the following. Chassis. Verify the casters and wheels rotate freely, are undamaged, and properly secured to the machine. The bubble level is clean, secure, and responds to movement. The emergency lowering tool is secured to the machine. 
On the Ecolift 50, ensure the front rubber feet are undamaged and secured to the chassis. On Ecolift 70, inspect the fold down platform step. On the platform assembly, verify stop hinges and springs are in working condition and properly secured. On the platform control console, inspect the flywheel and handle knob for any cracks or defects. Check the mast assembly, lanyard, attach point, and tool tray are in good condition. If any items need to be corrected, shut the machine down, remove it from service, and notify the proper personnel. Do not operate the machine until all previous items have been inspected and corrected. After completing the walk-around inspection, you must now conduct step three, a function check of all systems. All systems must operate smoothly with precise control. If at any time you discover any damage or discrepancy, or if the machine does not operate properly, shut down immediately. Report the problem to the proper maintenance personnel. Do not operate the machine until it is deemed safe for operation. Read, understand, and obey all warning placards and operating instructions on the Ecolift and in the applicable manuals prior to operation. Do not operate the Ecolift until you have done so. Position the machine on firm level ground free of overhead obstructions. Lock each caster wheel. Ensure the wheel does not rotate when locked. The Ecolift 50 has one lockable caster. The Ecolift 70 has two lockable casters. Check the bubble level indicator to ensure machine is level. Enter the platform using three points of contact. Check the platform gates. Ensure the gates are closed behind you. When you step into the platform in the Ecolift 50, the lockable caster wheels under the platform will retract and allow the chassis to sit on its rubber feet. Check the rubber feet to ensure the feet are sitting on the floor before elevating the platform. Before operating your machine, verify you are using proper personal protective equipment, or PPE. JLG requires all personnel in the platform to wear fall restraint only. The Ecolift 50 and Ecolift 70 are not rated for fall arrest. Attach the lanyard to the approved attachment point on the mast. Ensure the flywheel operating handle operates correctly. Pull the handle firmly and pull the knob towards you and release. The knob should spring back to lock the wheel. Never attempt to use the flywheel handle to raise or lower the platform while standing next to the machine or with an empty platform. Pull the knob once again and rotate the flywheel one full turn in a clockwise direction. The wheel should turn freely and the machine should ascend upwards. Turn the wheel counterclockwise to descend. The AutoLock feature has brake pins that fully engage when the platform is elevated to prevent the wheels from rotating. With the aid of assistant, check the operation of the rear wheel auto locking brake mechanism. When the platform is elevated and the mast is clear of the chassis, observe the action of the brake cams and movement of the brake pins. Ensure the pins fully engage the rear wheel brake discs when the platform is elevated and release when the platform is fully lowered. This concludes the function check of the JLG Ecolift. If any of the functions outlined in this video or in the operator and safety manual do not function properly, Shut down the machine, remove it from service, and notify the proper personnel. You are now ready for step four, machine operation. Proper operation includes the following. Training. All operators must be trained before operating the Ecolift 50 or Ecolift 70 lifts. Wear the proper PPE, hard hat, safety glasses, and fall protection. Read and understand all manuals located in the manual storage compartment. Fully elevate and fully lower the platform using the flywheel handle. In the event of an emergency situation, this section provides information on the procedures to be followed to lower the platform in the event of an operator being incapacitated. Locate the emergency lowering tool on the chassis. Stand to the side of the machine, attach the hook end of the emergency lowering tool to the flywheel handle knob in the platform. Releasing the handle knob, turn the flywheel counterclockwise to bring the platform down. Keep clear of the platform as it descends. Step five is proper shutdown. Push the machine to a safe area. Lock each caster.
The flywheel can be locked to prevent unauthorized use. To transport the Ecolift on a truck, refer to the operator and safety manual for loading instructions, winching instructions, and tie-down instructions. To forklift the Ecolift, ensure the caster wheels are locked and the forklift tines are fully engaged in the forklift pockets provided on the chassis. This concludes your operator safety video. It is important to complete your work safely using your JLG Ecolift 50 and Ecolift 70. You are responsible for complying with all the applicable laws and regulations. This video must be used in conjunction with your operation and safety manual. If you require further clarification on the safe operation of your machine, contact JLG Product Safety and Reliability at 1-877-JLG-SAFE. JLG Ground Support, reaching out to help you meet your potential.